What is going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody this morning. I want to talk about this uh, NFL player by the name of Ken Crawley. He plays for the Miami Dolphins. He's a defensive back. And he's decided that he wants to holler at Lizzo by a post that he put up on his IG stories. If, it, if any of you aren't familiar with the situation with uh, Lizzo, I did a video about her on my other channel. You can go and check it out. I'll put a link in the description and the comment section. I did commentary on it if you want to get the background on that. But we all, if you have been checking out the news, she went and decided that it was a good idea to not only dance in front of the LA Laker crowd, but she did it with her backside, the shirt of her backside cut out so you can see all of her behind and thong. Okay, that's pretty much all you saw. A lot of it. And there was talk that she may be banned from there, even though the people who run the Staples Center say that that's not really the case. But he doesn't make, there's a lot of people coming to her defense. Does it really surprise you in this day and age? And Ken, who's on injury reserve right now, see it as an opportunity for him to get at Lizzo. Okay, now this is what he put on his IG stories. He says, I want some stop playing girl at Lizzo be eaten. That I believe is her Instagram name. And that's and she's in a tub, but what looks like <laughs> looks like Skittles or MMs. Uh, in this tub and she has nothing on underneath this is nothing new she has posted a lot of pictures showing nothing because you know when you know these chicks who aren't naturally attractive or has the naturally has the the, the body they have to go above and beyond to get attention and that's what Lizzo does doesn't mean that Lizzo can't be confident but there's a difference between being confident and being a complete attention seeker you know, and that's what she did at this Lakers game again. And you have people coming to her defense because this is the image they want of melanated women. And the fact that you have other melanated women coming to her defense uh, and you also have these Caucasian liberal females who are coming to her defense. Does that really surprise y'all? <laughs> does it really surprise y'all? They want y'all to be perceived as this. OK, so if you really want to talk about the stereotypes of these sisters they want to look at us as as melanated men and, and the criticism that we have for their behaviors y'all need to look at the fact that lamestream media wants this to be your image they want lizzo to be the standard for you but you want to be upset at us when you should look at that and you should speak out against that but back to ken take the time to get on social media and holler at this chick now maybe he's doing it to get some attention or maybe he's into big girls listen if you're into big girls that's what you like i ain't got nothing against that we all have things not things but we all have preferences and we all have types or you know you know that certain things we may like that other people may find taboo or there are certain things that we like that other people might be surprised and maybe he likes the bigger women but i just want to say this the way that Lizzo has gone about things, she's 31 years old. She knows better, but she knows that she's going to get attention. She's going to get promoted by going the distance. And this is what, what Lizzo and others don't understand is what they do on social media. It ruins uh, dating because when you go, when you push the envelope, you know, and, and men don't have to work, men don't have to build themselves up to try to uh chase or date women out here when you can just go on the internet and for free see women with literally nothing on like lizzo uh it destroys the imagination of what could be lying beneath uh and i think a lot of women over these have done that for profit uh they've done it because of low self-esteem they've done it because they really desperately uh want attention and to push their brand they have to push the envelope but how far can i mean how much further can you go without there being a tape because she had you know when you look up lizzo i mean you see all types of pictures with her with literally nothing on like how much further can she go without there being a tape soon <laughs> but you know what i find very interesting is that 
it's okay for the big girls to get attention and to have a preference but if men don't have a preference for big girls they get immediately shamed they get criticized they get dragged how dare you not like her because she big but you don't see a lot of big chicks out here trying to date dudes either their size or maybe a little bit smaller they're chasing behind the same dudes that these other chicks are you know there's a some, some of these women are in long lines because a lot of them are chasing the same type of guys lizzo is no different so you got ken crawley okay you know he he may be trying to get with her but is she attracted to you that's what you got to ask yourself man the one thing about women is they like to pursue you know they like to pursue they don't really necessarily want to be pursued you know i mean they like to be pursued but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to date you because you're pursuing even though uh there are a lot of women that can tell you that you know they were pursued and after a while they relented and gave the guy a chance but looking at ken he's a guy who you know again he's you know basically uh, a third stringer fourth stringer well he's a db so he's probably more like fourth to fifth stringer special teams guy back up um he ain't got nothing going on right now so he's getting on social media and he's getting some praise and he's also getting some laughs probably from teammates but again if he likes the big big girls ain't nothing wrong with that man but i i have a i i have a sneaking suspicion man that lizzo wants to be in a relationship with one of these high profile athletes you know she wants to be you know walking around you know wifed up by one of these rappers you know one of these athletes you know what i'm saying she wants to be able to have the lifestyle she sees other women on social media on instagram have but what she got to understand is those guys really aren't attracted to you and i think that she's trying to she's she's busy trying to win those guys over this is why she's talking about how she is dealing with the dealing with a uh minnesota timberwolf player but she won't say who it is <laughs> who is it you know but um again when we look at what the media is doing and how they're trying to push this this narrative and this and this stereotypical um persona that Lizzo's putting out to putting out here this overly you know hyper you know look at me you know um I'm laying the tub full of M&Ms and, and this you know it 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 dilutes the image of sisters even more um and it's the same media that's putting on the pedestal listen we look at all of these sisters around the world that are winning all these pageants. I'm seeing how it's being bigged up on social media. That's a good thing, right? But what they're also going to do is they're going to put women like Lizzo on a pedestal. She is the entertainer of was entertainer of the year. Are you kidding me? I don't think I've listened to one Lizzo song. And I listen to songs from many different people in, in different genres. I don't see it. But again, she fits to a T, the stereotype they want y'all to be. Listen, these Caucasian uh, females will always throw you sisters under the bus when it comes to the standards of beauty. They will. And you just don't understand that. You know, they've been doing it to melanated men for years. They throw our masculinity under the bus, you know? And it's good for Lizzo to have self esteem, it's good for her to feel good about herself. But how far are you willing to go? You can't go any further than what you did at the Lakers game. How much further are you going to go? Are we going to see a tape soon? Are Hugh and Ken Crowley going to do a tape together? <laughs> Maybe we could expect that. But I'm telling you, man, there's only one direction this can go. There's only one. And, and for Ken, and by the way, you know, me doing this video, uh, it seems that Ken was recently... Uh, waved. I'm looking at the news as two hours ago. I think I believe it took it off. I already they waved. Um, that's the life of an NFL player. But uh, I just want people to understand that 
she can like what she want to like. Um, I bet she has a preference. I bet there's a lot of dudes who she will not want to date because her, like her and many other women out here, especially the ones on Instagram, when, uh, you know, females in the industry, they have a type. Okay. Because trust and believe there are dudes hollering at Lizzo. You know, Lizzo's paid a phone bill before. Lizzo's probably paid some child support before. I believe she's taking care of a grown man, a grown man or two. So that's that's nothing new to her. I sense that with her. I sense that there's nothing but taking care of men. That's I believe she's done that a lot. You know. And you would hope that she'd be able to, okay, find somebody that wants to be with her for her. But that's not what she wants. She wants to be able to date these athletes, these NBA players, NFL players. They want to change the standard of beauty. And they're going to use sisters like Lizzo to do it. Okay? And you have all these people who are body positive on social media celebrating this because they have never been the standard of beauty guys have never been attracted to them their looks either or their body types you have a lot of disgruntled caucasian females who may have more of a curvier body type who a lot of caucasian dudes were never really into so they're very disgruntled you know and they're on social media talking about body positivity because they were never chose by the men in their own groups and it's always frustrated them i don't care how many brothers they date and by the way we need to stop dating the cast offs from other groups you know we as men have to up our standards and we can't just wait until we got money or you know we got a good job you know you know we don't um we got ourselves in like great shape or whatever like we have to have standards that's the only way the women in our groupings will have standards we can't be dating the cast offs from other groups who really don't even want to be with us like that they're just with us because they're not being accepted by the people who look like them and I think that with Lizzo, she may be out there. She may be outlandish, but trust and believe there's a lot of guys like Ken who are willing to get with her. 